So welcome back aliens. This is Navin Reddy from Telescope Learnings. In this video, we'll talk about layouts. So once we have done with the configuration of Android Studio, we have done with the view. Let's talk about layout now. Now layouts are very important when you, when you design an Android app. I'm not a big fan of designing, but unfortunately we have to design an app before to make it run, right? So what we need here is we have basically we have lots of layouts. We'll talk about only three layouts in this video. We'll talk about relative layout, we'll talk about linear layout, and we'll talk about uh, frame layout. So let's start with relative layout. So what relative layout here is, let's go back to design and we have a view here which is a text view. Okay. And let me take one button and let me put it next to this, this text view. Now you can see it's this button is trying to make some relationship with, uh, with the view here. So if you go back to the text, you can see we got a button and then we got something called as, uh, okay, it is to the right of text view. So this button is depend upon this text view. Okay, what if, if I take this button to the top, somewhere here, and if I go to text, you can see it says uh, margin, okay, it says where, uh, yeah, so it is here, align parent top, it says true, okay, so this button or this view is always depend upon something, so if I take a new button, if I keep it below, uh, below this text view, you can say it's below the text view and if I go to text this button says now uh, layout below that is your text view so this is how your relative layout works you know you can put your you can put your uh, views anywhere but that view will try to make some relationship between your maybe your uh, screen or maybe with different views so that's relative now next we'll talk about uh, uh, linear layout. So in linear, I already have a code here. Okay, so this is linear. So in linear, we have two things. One is your vertical la linear layout and then we have horizontal orientation. So we have vertical and then we have horizontal. So let's start with the horizontal one. So I have a, com I have a code here. If I uncomment this code, okay, so we got telescope learning. So we got two text view, one text view prints Telisco and the second text view prints learnings. Okay, and both these views are next to each other in a horizontal bar. So we have a linear layout in which you have to mention the orientation as horizontal. And if you have any number of text view, everything will be in the one line. Okay, that's horizontal view. Simple, right? So once we're done with the horizontal one, let's go back to the vertical. So if you write the same text in a vertical layout, so I have a code here for vertical layout. So if I uncomment this part, you can see we got Telisco and Learnings in vertical way. So we got we got two lines and we got two components on two lines. That's your vertical layout. Okay. Now, so we have a horizontal layout, we have vertical layout. Can we mix this two? Can we have a view in which you can have both? A vertical layout plus horizontal layout. So I have also I have also created one more layout, linear layout, in which you can have we can mix these two these two things. So we can have a, so you can see we have a linear layout in which you have horizontal, which means you can have two components. So imagine Telisco as one, and Android Tutorial as one of the component for horizontal. But inside the second horizontal bar or second layout, which is here we are mentioning something called as vertical. So the next two buttons will be in a vertical fashion. Okay, so this is so this is one component and this is second component for your horizontal. And inside second component, we have two more components in vertical fashion. Okay, uh, so but whenever you work with linear layouts, you need to also mention uh, as XD for your XML and you have to mention these two things. Okay. But if you have the inner layout, you don't have to mention that because you have already covered that part in the parent layout. So that's one of the things you have to consider. So that's how we use linear layout. So we got, we know, now we know about relative layout and then we have linear layout. The next is frame layout. Now just to understand frame layout, let me create a new activity. So I will say new activity and if I select uh, empty activity here, we'll name this as frame demo. 
Okay, so we got two things. One is the Java file. We, 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 don't, we don't want Java file now. Let's only focus on the XML file. Now, when you work with frame layout, we don't require any padding. Okay, let, let me remove all the paddings from bottom, left, right, and top. And instead of using relative layout, let me use frame layout. So let me remove this relative and let me make it frame. Now, the advantage will be, if I go to design and if I select a image view, and if I drop it here, so you can see we got some grid there. Okay, let me just take it in the first box. So we can say we have a grid layout here by default. And if I go to text, instead of saying wrap content, if I make it as match parent, I want a background, background image here. So I will say match parent, which will cover the whole area. So you got an image view, which is covered. And I, I also want an image there. So just to get that image, we want to add a src tag from this folder. So we have in min map, we have this image, which is IC launcher. So if you want that, you can just mention add it mip map it's mip map slash mip map slash okay it's here and then we can mention ic launcher so you can see we got an image here that's how you add a background image to your frame layout okay now it will also act like a card layout in swing so if you have worked on swing or awt in java you know about card layout right so in which you can put the components above your frame layout uh, yeah, frame layout. So you can put a button, radio button here, you can put a button here. So that's the advantage of using frame layout. So it's all depend upon your requirements. It's all depend upon what type of design you want to work with. Okay, so my main concern in this series will not be designing. My main concern will be uh, development. So, so what you can do is you can learn Android using development. This is the basic thing you should know when you design something. So first we'll design it, okay, with basic features. I will try to make the advanced development features like sending requests to the server or using multi-threading things and all those things. So my main concern will not be designing, it will be development. Okay, so once you have learned Android development, then you can learn different material design, all, all those things, and you can embed those features inside your Android. Okay, so this is from layouts and from the next video, we'll talk about the actual implementation using code. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you will get the news, uh, latest update of the videos. Yeah, that's it.